First pallet unboxing coming from the new shop. Let's go. Here we go. Two pallets of Amazon. These are jumbo pallets. They're uh, mediums and large items. You can already see there's some of these uh, Hyperflex punching bag things. There's a huge big bandsaw down there. Some mystery boxes that you have no clue what they are. Pretty much everything over here, you can't even really tell what it is. So lots of stuff to go through. Uh, I don't recall the exact details of the, the price of this pallet. This, these two pallets were part of a five pallet deal. I've already processed the other three, so I have these two left. The entire deal was 5,200, so it's about a thousand dollars a pallet. But the other pallets had a lot of small items. These are the big items. Um, I saved these for last just because I didn't have a good way to um, sell them locally. My buddy's shop that I was in, I wasn't able to really sell out of there no more. So long story short, we're gonna go through these. I'm gonna pull them out of the way. Um, I have these pallets to go through as well. I'm gonna move these out of the way and put these shelves right that I have right here. Those are gonna go in that corner. And I'll start breaking these pallets down over here by the table. As I find items that I want to sell individually, I'll photograph it and put them on the shelf. And then those that I want to uh, liquidate for the garage sale or something along those lines, I will put in a different pile, probably repalletize them. So enjoy the video. That's what I'm up to. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you're enjoying these pallet unboxes, and I'll be sure to do more. All right, guys, I'm back. So I put these shelves up over here disregard the numbering system that was from when I had those in my basement in my house. Um, I'm gonna have to redo that. Here's the first pallet we're gonna go through and <clears throat> I just have a little workshop here set up to go look through stuff, look stuff up. I did look up this first item just because I wanted to make sure my, uh, my scanning program was working, which it is. I'm not gonna screen record. I don't have that computer with me today, so I'll just talk through the stuff. But this first item, the seahorse case here, right here is uh, $206, so that's that's a really good start. So something like that, that's this one here. Assuming, it, assuming it's all good, and it's just damaged packaging, I'd probably charge about 100 bucks is what I'll post it for, and I'm open to offers. Um, something like this, I paid, on average on this lot, I paid 50 or 15% of retail, and I try to get around 50%. So uh, something like this, if it's a $200 value, I would have paid uh, 30 bucks for it. So if I can get you know 75 to 100 bucks, that's a really good profit, and um, it's a really good start to this pallet. So let me get that down and get you guys set up, and we'll go through some of this stuff. <clears throat> I got you up on the wall, and the first item here we're going to say is a value of 100 bucks. That's what I'm going to list it on the marketplace for. And <clears throat> what I can do actually, which I didn't do, and I'm not going to walk through this process for every item because I don't want to bore you guys to death with me like sitting here taking pictures while I know most people are just interested in what I find and how much it's worth. I take a screenshot of the Amazon listing page which gives me the price um, so later down the road like after I'm done going through everything I can create the listings and I do it I drop the photos from my phone right to uh, Facebook marketplace and I can go through and select which photos um, link it links up with my phone which is really nice so I'll have the the screenshot with the information of the item and the value on Amazon and that will go in the listing and I'll snap a couple photos of the item I also like to have a photo of the, the UPC just in case I need more information down the road I can look it up easy because I know I have that in the listing oh where's it at this box is pretty much shot but it's probably going to be on this tab right here. Yep, there it is. So more information there. And then I'll take pictures of the inside. It's a really nice case. It's a brand, brand new. And a logo. And that's good enough. Most people will look it up, get all the information they need online. Thought that maybe that would slide right in there, but anyhow, so I did that. And then what I'm gonna do is the last picture I'm gonna take is where I put it. And right now I have, I started labeling the shelf over here. So we do it. Put it right there 
which is going to be SH3 for shop three. So that's the shop three shelf and boom. So now I know in sequence where it's located later on, say I'm not here and I'm doing this from home. Um, I'll have access to the location and then I'll put that in the description of the Amazon uh, listing down the bottom. That way someone wants to buy it and I can't remember, I quickly want to find it, I don't know where it's at. So the thought process being as I get more and more inventory, it'll be harder um, to find it, to the items, especially I have, I'll have i have some inventory up on the top loft and I'll probably call that L, L1, L2, whatever the different locations up there. So that's that. All right. So now that I have a, a pretty good strategy how I'm gonna go about it, we can start opening them up. See what this item is. It says it is exhaust. That's all it says, it's an exhaust. It's got an Amazon box, and within the Amazon box is a smaller box with a Magnaflow exhaust. So this isn't terribly big. I wouldn't be, I'm not afraid to ship anything. I just try not to overdo it with the shipping stuff. If I could, like the, for instance, that case, maybe it sells for 150 on eBay, but then I got to ship it, I got fees. Um, I'd rather sell it locally for 75 or 100 and just move on with it. So we're gonna go ahead and scan this item. See what we have here. It's really nice having a scanner. This computer's running really slow. I think I need to re reboot this computer. Looks like, look like it downloaded Microsoft Edge and is trying to run it through that. Okay, so that cannot be right. Magnaflow 51060 large stainless steel direct fit calic converter. Oh no, that is it. Holy crap. That Guys, if this is accurate, I gotta bring it down for this one. So uh, take a look at that picture. There's the UPC, Magnaflow. And right here you can see it says E-R-T-E-R. -E that is for converter. Magnaflow 5160 large stainless steel direct fit Cali converter, $947. Boom, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. So. We obviously have to go and look and see if that's what's in here. It is still stapled that side. Mm. I mean, it's weird. I don't mind opening it up. I have to open it up to check it anyhow. And there it is. Only thing I'm not loving about this is I wonder if someone re took theirs out, like their catalytic converter was bad, and put that put this one in here. There's the paperwork. There's the seal. Does that even line up? I don't know. It looks like it's kind of. It's definitely dusty. And then the inside, I doubt you could see that, but the inside of it, let me wipe my finger in there. I mean, it's not terrible. It's not like if it was a, a bunch of exhaust going through there. So I'll have to do some more research on that. It's, it's possible somebody used it and then took it back off. I don't know. It could, I mean, so it came like this. It could have also just got rejected from Amazon because they look at the box. The box is ripped open. So a little bit more research needed on that one. Something that valuable would not be a local pickup. I'd rather do that one online. Let's see what this one is. This is, I've sold these before. So some of these products I've gotten in the past because I bought so many pallets. This is a, it says it's a Pelican, yeah, Pelican ammo case. I get, I believe around 40 bucks for these. So it's a heavy duty case for 
putting ammo in. That's gonna be an eBay item. Put that to the side. I mean, I would sell that locally too. It's just, I already have an eBay listing, so it's real easy for me to uh, relist that. This says it's a pair of boots. Okay. So 511 Tactical, these are like military grade boots. And a lot of times people return these just because of size and fit, look at that. They are brand new in the box. Normally these boots go anywhere. They retail for like 100, 120, depending on the style. Uh, I normally get around 50 bucks a piece for them. So once again, this here would do better on eBay. You're gonna wait for the right buyer and get more value. Someone at a garage sale is probably gonna pay like 20 bucks for that. So all I'm doing is I'm sorting eBay stuff, the stuff that's going on Facebook, going on that shelf, and then trash the boxes that I can't use. I'll break down the ones I can save I'll I'll save for shipping. Let's see what's in here. It's, shoot, whoa. It seemed really light and then whatever it was shifted. So it seems like this box is way too big for whatever's in here. But we're gonna find out. And uh, as you see this stuff guys is the way I've got it. I've, this this pallet has not been opened. The other one I showed you earlier has not been opened. Um, there's one more that I haven't opened, but then those three, um, I, I started going through some of the stuff and then kind of reorganized them. It was basically four pallets that I condensed to three. Uh, long story short, some of that other stuff I have gone through, so I probably won't do an unboxing on that. Yeah, like look how big this box is for a cooler. It's, and they actually put two boxes together to make it fit, yet the cooler itself only takes up half the box. And because it was, okay, it's got a broken handle. Really, uh, really good box right there if I have to ship something big. So, broken handle, but, you know, cooler's perfectly fine. You could probably get a replacement handle. It's just four screws that holds this on. Um, I wouldn't do that. I would just throw it in the garage sale. This one I won't list on Marketplace. It would be a straight to garage sale item. I don't know, probably five or 10 bucks. I this. this one's pretty heavy, guys. Uh, work, it says K-Tool work table. Has a lot of Amazon tape. Um, I did find this item. It is called the K-Tool International Heavy Duty Ta Teardown Tray. And it says it's actually not available any longer on Amazon, but it does have the pictures and stuff. So I'm just gonna copy the UPC and throw that up on, um, on Google. See if anyone else is selling it. There looks like someone had one on eBay. Nope. I mean, it is looking pretty good. And it's probably hard for you guys to see this, but. Mm, I think this is one that in order for me to sell it, I'm gonna to have to actually put it together and take pictures of it that way just to prove that it's all there. Uh, there's some there's some loose parts in there. The box that has all the, the um, bolts and stuff in it is still sealed up, but the bracket and whatnot, that needs to be looked at a little closer. So I will, I'll do that later. Let's get through this pallet. I may split this video up into two. We'll see, we should be able to get through some of this stuff pretty quickly, just cause I know this is a, um, This is a rim. Some of these rims can be three, $400. Uh, I normally get around 150 bucks plus shipping. It's a torn wheel. So what would happen is someone who bought this exact set, they hit a curb or they dented their wheel from being an accident or something like that. And they'll buy a, re a single replacement and they can find it on eBay through someone like me for cheaper. So this will be an eBay item. The chances of somebody locally um, looking for that exact wheel are pretty slim. 
So I have been selling these locally in the past. Um, I'm glad to get some more because I was sold out on sold out on Facebook. But they are a a speed bag setup. So Everlast speed bag. There are three of them on here. So one. And I normally get 50 bucks locally for these. Two. Three. But since I have so many, it may make more sense to sell it online as well. Five, seven, three, nine, three are the last five digits. And I can look on my master list here, the stuff I bought. Uh, it was retailing for 119. So yeah, my, my price of 50 bucks is pretty good. It's actually, the price is now down to 107. So still at that, at that price, 50, I'm doing well. Um, I want to put these on the shelf as they are because the good news is if someone wants to buy one, I can quickly make sure everything's there. And then if I am missing something, I know between all three of them, I can I would have all the parts. So that's pretty easy to do. And it fits really good on that shelf right there. Might actually move this over so they're all next to each other. All right. And then I'll go back into my, I already have a Facebook listing. I'll renew, I'll relist that listing and I'll add that it's in SH4 uh, and hopefully we can get some of those sold. So I'll be down in this shop now. I'll be down here every Thursday, Friday and some most, most Saturdays. I'm gonna do a garage sale out of here once a month, uh, like an outdoor indoor sale. Most of my eBay stuff still now is at, at my house and my, uh, my other location, but the goal is once the other part of this shop is built to have everything in one location. Um, so let's keep moving. Uh, these, goodness gracious, they had a lot of tape on there. These Oracle headlamps, um, a lot of times they make them for Jeeps, but they also make them for other vehicles. These can be pretty pricey. This is a 93214. Um, I, I just sold one on eBay, actually, the smaller fog lamps for 60 bucks yesterday. 39, 32, 39, 32, 14. Uh, it's, yeah. I hope it's worth that much. Oh my gosh. All right, gotta bring you guys down to check this out. So see that there? Oracle. Uh, Oculus headlamps. Look at that. $788. Boom. Now, granted, they probably won't sell for that much on eBay. I got to get my setup here for filming. But um, so far, I'm liking it. Um, not having as much noise in the background at the house. More room to open up. Uh, my buddy Lenny's shop, there was no... Some days I could film, but most times I couldn't just because there's other people there. People are building, building uh, sheet metal for air conditioning systems. Oh man, they look brand new, guys. Look at that. Still factory sealed up. So an item like this just for, um, not only for my own thinking or own knowledge, but for also for giving you guys a realistic number, I'll go to uh, eBay. And once I get my other computer down there, down here too, you guys will be able to see what I'm doing on the computer. I'll pop up the, the screen share. So on the video, you can actually see what I'm searching. But right now I'm searching on eBay to see what the price and what they're selling for. Um, as of right now, they are... Six people have them listed and the lowest price is $710. So for open box deal, I probably could come in at 600 and a retail value of 800 means I paid 80 times two. I paid 160 for it. And assuming they're all good, I'll double check them again, but, and actually go through and make sure everything's accounted for. But you know, that's a really good profit margin there on that item. So that's a good one. I mean, that alone, there's probably two items in this pile so far that paid for everything. And I still have all these big items left. 
Not to mention the other pallets that I paid, say, $1,000 for, they had, you know, tons of stuff on them because there was boxes full of small stuff, which I targeted that stuff first because I could work on that from home. This big stuff I can't really do at the house. All right, see so what we got here. Um, this is a concrete tool. I know the brand Kraft, they make tons of uh, tools and this is probably a, a planer or one that smooths out the concrete. Yep, so that's for, for smoothing it out. It's technically called a um, doo -doo -doo. magnesium Darby with double knob, 42 inch. I mean, I'll have to look it up. I think they retail for around 40 bucks, but probably 10 bucks in the sale. Smile by that. Here's another one of those wheels. Oh, it looks like now I have two. Maybe there's two more on the other pallet. Now I'll have a whole set. Huh, I don't see any, but it is 6701MB Torin. Uh, it's a different one anyway. So this is a different version. Uh, that'll be an eBay item. Probably another 100, 100, 100 to $150 for a replacement wheel. Let's go. We're still rolling here. We got just a few more items on this pallet. This is another Igloo cooler. go. Ah, this one has a broken handle. So once again, if someone really wanted to, you can get that part, but um, I'm not going to go through that trouble for, for the cooler. Now, someone who pretty much puts this cooler in the same spot, say camping or whatever, and you don't really need to move it too much, probably can get away with the broken handle. So maybe 10 bucks as it sits. Otherwise, it's a uh, Brand new. I'm going to keep that handle with it because actually somebody might be able to glue that back together. But that's not something I'm going to mess with to make an extra. Say it's uh, I could sell it for 20 or you know fixed or I could sell it for 10 as is. I'm just going to take the 10 and move on. I don't have time to mess with that kind of stuff anymore. Back in the day, when inventory was you know, so valuable and so hard to get, um, I really would try to fix everything, but not any longer. All right, let's see what we got here. This item here is that saw. This one I could see from the, oh my gosh, that is heavy. All right, so this is probably gonna stay on here. Now, it does have two of the bands on it. The box is definitely busted up. I'm guessing that it's probably okay. It's just, you know, damaged through shipment and Amazon didn't accept it because the packaging has to be good. Let's look it up. I'm not going to open it up. It is a 47286. I'm sure it's expensive, but all right. So it says the retail was 946. 949 and right now on Amazon it's $819. Um, so I don't mean new in the box like that. I will have to try to get it, get to it to see if it's all right. What I might end up doing is cutting down a pallet in half because I mean that thing weighs Actually, my list might tell me how much it weighs. Sometimes the item has it because my program grabs it off of Amazon. Um, 121 pounds is what it weighs. So yeah, it's pretty heavy. So basically, if I cut a pallet in half with my saw, I can leave it on, on the pallet and then um, put it off to the side. If someone buys it, I can forklift it right on the back of their truck. Yeah, I mean, it's really heavy. That's what I'm going to do there so this will get photos the way it sits i really need to check it out though which is kind of 
I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I'll figure it out, though. I'll get it up on Marketplace. And then uh, outside of that, we have a couple more items, three more items, maybe. Uh, I got these two, which are probably the same thing. This is... Uh... Nope, they're different. This is a uh, NBA Miami Heat grill mat. So... Double bagged up. Don't know if I have too many Miami Heat fans here in Baltimore. But that's what that is. I mean, honestly, you could probably just put it upside down if, and use it just, just as good as just a black. So it's a Miami. I mean, it would still make a really good grill mat if you just flipped it the other way for, you know, for five or 10 bucks if you weren't a Miami Heat fan. So somebody will buy that for, I would say five bucks. I'm guessing this probably costs, it was probably retail 40, if I remember what these go for. So 40, I paid eight bucks for it. I might be able to sell it for five. So something I guess I might lose, lose a few bucks on. But you obviously make that up on the good items. And that's kind of part of this game. You can't win on every single item. Some stuff's completely broken and damaged so much you have to throw it away. All right, so this is a yard sale, garage sale item, grill mat. Um, this was actually something different here. This was another one of those concrete tools. I had sold some of these online. So this is a smaller one. I believe I get around 25 bucks for these on eBay. I'll look and double check, but I should probably be able to just relist that. And then, oops. this is all trash. All right, one last big item. Okay, so I've had these before and there's some on top of that pallet over there. And basically they are um, commercial crab traps, but they're for, um, they're not for like the crabs we catch here. We catch blue crabs. This is for the big like stone crabs. So, there's, oh wait a second, there's something underneath of it too. So this is the crab trap here, and there might be more than one. This might be... Oh yeah, there's um, three of them. So three crab traps in one box. I don't know, I mean, I may try to figure a way to lot these up, like a lot of five, and then I would be willing to ship them if say I can get like, I think they retail for like 40 to 50 bucks. So um, even if I got $100 plus shipping, I'd be doing okay on these. So these are, what does it, let me tell you exactly what they're called. They're called Promar TR555 Folding Crab Trap 08104. I might as well look it up since I have so many of them. 08104, maybe I'll try to lot some up and see how it goes. 08104, it says that they retail for 50 bucks. So I was right on that, which means I paid, uh, a little under 10 bucks a piece on Amazon. Right, right now, the cheapest price on Amazon is $79. So I don't know if you guys could see that, but that's the trap. $79, but there's, there's three of them in here. Um, I wonder if they charge me for one or for three. I only see it once on my list. So it's possible that I got all three of these for the one price, which is great. Yeah, because look, there's one right there, brand new in the... Um, I'm sure somebody will correct me, but 
They're not stone crabs. I forget what those crabs are called. We don't get them here. Um, but really nice trap. It's a shame it wouldn't work for the crabbing that I do. So three of them. I have to figure out a way to get those listed. Put them over with the others. And then one last item, and that's going to wrap this one up. All right, Sea Striker, sur oh sweet. It's a, um, a surf cart. So you take this on the beach, with your fishing rods, your cooler, your bait, all that stuff. And um, a lot of these sometimes also have a way to easily hook them up to your, the back of your truck. Like you can put it right on the tow hitch or some people put them on the front. So, I mean, it looks, it looks like it still has the factory seal around it. Uh, might be up, might have been opened on this side. Box is definitely beat up. So that would probably do pretty good around here. We're only about three hours from the beach, and the, we're um, on the Atlantic coast, where close to where we go. A lot of people do surf fishing, including myself. So that is going to be a good. Uh, might be worth. Let's just see if it's worth listing online. Six three three one. Probably just sell it locally though, since there is a demand for it. Whereas those other big traps we just look like, there's not really a demand around here that anybody would need those. This retailed for a hundred. So I paid around 15 to 20 dollars for it. And um, yeah, it's still selling for 122. All right, none sold on eBay, but there are two listed right now and they are 160 and 180. So, Oh, you know, even though it said original retail is 100 based on the going rate right now, I probably could get 75 bucks for it. So not bad there. Once again, I'll have to double check that. I need to double check the bandsaw. Let's pull you down real quick. All right, guys, I have to do another quick rundown. So this is that Sea Striker cart that we unpacked. Um, this, I believe, I should be able to get 75 bucks for that. The, uh, the jet bandsaw here, that should be 500. Uh, this box is empty, but I have those three Everlast punching bags. Let's just assume two of them are good. Uh, I can get 50 bucks a piece. So that's hundred, maybe even 150 if all, if all of them are good. Uh, the seahorse case there, that's going to be another hundred. Uh, a couple of miscellaneous broken slash garage sale items, um, you know, five, 10, 15 bucks each. That'd say that's total, maybe 40 bucks. And then over here, we had the two concrete tools for both of those. I would say um, I think the one's around 30 and the other one's 40, so about 70 bucks there. The two wheels, uh, 100 to 150 bucks each. Um, realistically, if people make me offers, I'd probably take 100, so there's 200 there. Uh, these lights are going to be about 500. Um, this catalytic converter, this one is going to be interesting because I don't know whether or not um, someone did the bait and switch on that and put in a, put a used one in there. But if I assume that that's good, that's another at least 500. And then I have the $30 ammo case and the 40 to $50 shoes. So um, we'll total that up, put it on the screen. I wasn't doing the math in my head right there, but um, that's gonna wrap this video up. I know I'm getting into that 20 to 30 minute range. So I'm going to do this pallet over here next. So if you're interested in what's in there, make sure you uh, subscribe and hit that bell notification for when I post that video. So we'll check that out. And then some of this stuff, this one here, I can do unboxing because I haven't, I haven't touched that one. Some of these other pallets, I have gone through like the top half and then re them. But either way, it would be fun to go through that stuff. A lot of that stuff was stuff that I didn't want to um, list online and it wasn't really great for selling locally. But now that I have a uh, place that I can sell directly out of that that all changes and I have to go through it again so yeah anyhow like subscribe hit that bell and I'll catch you guys on the next one peace